they always go above and beyond. First responders are true hurricane heroes. And with the seemingly endless barrage of storms in 2017, there wasn't time for a day off. Over and over, they risked their lives to save others, including the Customs and Border Protection agents that made hundreds of rescues. Our Dave Malkoff joined them on a mission in Texas. They've been on the, the roofs and they've been stranded for so long. Below us, the water is rising, flooding homes, entire neighborhoods really, in Port Arthur, Texas, 91 miles east of Houston. Watch as an aviation enforcement agent descends 41 feet on a cable to rescue a man named Dominique Herbert. It's been raining, raining, raining. Oh. Grandfather, great uncle, and others. I grabbed my phone and, and heard up and called my grandfather and let them know that they were outside to come and rescue us. What you are seeing is the view from our 360 camera mounted to a rescue basket. The man inside here has only the clothes on his back. The helicopter blew my stuff off the roof, my clothes and stuff off the roof. These helicopter teams often work to keep drugs off the streets. Today, there are no streets, only what look like rivers. The rain has just not stopped. Man, I'm just, just trying to get us out of here. We're lowering the hoist right now. Imagine this is your first helicopter ride ever. You've been stranded on your roof for hours and help finally comes, but it comes with roaring winds and strangers attaching you to some kind of metal device. You can see the distress and how tired they are. Even as we have that reunion going on here, we've got Another victim coming in here, another family member being pulled in on this basket. She's been on that roof for quite a while now, waiting for the helicopter to come save us. Now she's back with her family on board here. I'll take your keys. My son is an Eagle Scout, so he wants to go last. He wanted his dad to go first. Stafford Bernard is safe. So is his son, the Eagle Scout. He's the only person we've seen so far in chest waders. Look around us. There is a fleet of birds from several federal, state, and local agencies, all of them talking to each other and watching their six. That lady right there, she's 92 years old. She is not alone in seeing a Texas flood this widespread for the first time. That's by my count, more than 15 people rescued in this one CBP helicopter on one tank of gas. Just enough time to get back to the airport refuel and do it all over again.